Hi everyone, you're very welcome to another one of our gardening shorts videos and today we're going to be showing you how to sow broad beans. Now broad beans, you mightn't have eaten them, you don't often get them in the shop but that's one of the reasons they're really great to grow. Um, the other reason is that they're one of the, the earlier vegetables that you can start sowing. So it's great this time of year, dying to start sowing things and get out in the garden but it is a little bit too early but these are one of the things that we can get started on. So to grow these, sow these seeds, um, you need some compost, you need some seeds, and um, we're actually not gonna use a plastic pot this week. I'm gonna show you how to make newspaper pots. And normally, when we do this workshop in the children's garden, we have lovely uh, wooden newspaper pot makers specifically for making these pots. But actually, if you have a jar, a bit like this one, that's um, not too thick and um, nice and straight sided, you can use this, so it's perfect. And then some newspaper, or I don't even have newspaper, I have some packaging that um, a parcel came in, and this is perfect. Just some kind of kind of soft uh, paper will do it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and make our newspaper pot. So, you get a little bit, a sort of strip of newspaper, about this long, um, and a bit wider than how deep you want your pot. So this is about 15 centimeters wide, and about 30 centimeters long. So what you do is get your, your jar, so you roll it lengthways up along your paper. Now don't make it too tight or it'll be really hard to get it out, so keep it a little bit loose. Then what you need to do is kind of twist the bottom bit, twist it, and then mush it down onto your table. And what this does is do the base. Now don't, you need to mush it down nice and tightly, but just be careful if you are doing this with a glass that you don't break the glass. So do it firmly, but not too hard. And then you should be able to pull out your pot. So that's basically your pot, it's real easy. Don't worry if it's a little bit bonkety, that'll be fine because once you have the soil in it and once you have it sitting with a few other ones around it, they kind of hold each other in place and it's perfect. So the next thing we're going to do is fill it up with your compost. And so we fill it all up and the best thing to do is fill it up to the top and then squish it down because these seeds, it's like going to bed at night. They like to be tucked in nice and tight into the, to the soil. So if they're too loose, they don't soak up the water as well. So they need to be nice and firm but not too tight again because it might be hard for the roots to get down as well. So a happy medium. So there we go and then we're gonna make a hole for our seed so we are gonna go down about an inch say half your finger and then you get your seed and pop it in now these seeds I actually soaked overnight so they've swelled up a bit and you don't have to do that it just um, it just gives them a little helping hand there's your first pot made and um, a good idea then is to have some kind of a tray I just have this takeaway pot then I'm gonna put them in and line them up here. And that holds them together and it also keeps the water in. The next thing we want to do is label them so that we remember what is in them. So you could have a proper plant label or a lollipop stick, or you could even just write it on the side of these uh, with a marker. And these ones are called Broad Bean Vitkine is the variety of these. And we're gonna pop it in. So you want to give them a good water, especially at the start if the compost is very dry. You can even, if it's difficult, you can even put it in the bottom of your container and that'll soak it up for the first time. And then after that, what you need to do is check the compost every couple of days and it comes away wet like that, then it's fine. If it comes away dry, then it needs, it needs a bit more water. But there shouldn't be then any water sitting in the bottom of it. So that's basically it, how to sow your broad beans. Um, so you can put them in a nice sunny windowsill, um, as sunny as you can get it, and check on them, make sure they don't dry out, so water them every couple of days. And then when they get sort of as high as your hand, they probably will outgrow all their, you'll start seeing their roots coming out the bottom, so it's time that they, they need a bit more space. And at that stage, it should be warm enough as well for them, even though they are, they're very hardy plants. Um, so you can plant them outside. Um, to space them out and the amount of seeds you need, I think if you have like a meter squared space in your garden, 
to grow broad beans, you could, you could fit about 12 or 15 plants. Um, so that's an idea of, of how many plants you could sow and um, the kind of space it needs. Um, and it's important as well, when you do plant them out, they need a bit of a stake because they grow up quite tall and leggy. They're not climbers like running beans that, that um, wrap themselves around poles, but they do need staking. So you could put a few uh, bamboo canes or, or twigs in around them and then wrap string around all the, the, the canes and that will keep them upright. So that really helps them. So that's really it. Once you have them out and staked, they don't need a huge amount of looking after. You do need to check, they get aphids sometimes, so it's good to check on them um, regularly and make sure they haven't got um, overgrown with aphids. And if they do, you can use a garlic spray mix and, um, and spray them down. Uh, but other than that, they're pretty, they're pretty easy plants to grow. And so hopefully come like May, June, you still should get your first crop of broad beans. And we last year made really nice falafels from the broad beans that we got in the children's garden. We mixed in some of the other herbs from the garden as well and they really tasted really good. So I'm really looking forward to our harvest, hopefully this um, early this summer. So um, have a go at it. I hope you have great fun doing it. And again, as always, if you have any questions, do get in touch. Bye bye.